Alright, what's up guys? So you hear it every time, right? You know, you got a lag in chest, you got a lag in triceps. And I see a lot of people always skipping weighted dips. And this is like the one that's gonna fix most of your problems, you know, because it's a compound movement. It's very underrated, guys. So before you go to the chest or before you go to skull crushers or triceps, get on the dip machine, use some weights, and do like five sets. Five sets of five, really heavy and really contracted. And let me just show you the difference how you hit your chest and how you hit your triceps. Let me show you real quick. So for triceps, something you want to do is stay as upright as possible. Like this. You don't have to lock out, but you can get close to it. This is gonna help you alive. You have a, a laggy chest. Just flare your elbows out. Instead of going this way, you can work your triceps. Go out. Down. Stretch. That's too low when you feel uncomfortable. Up. And go all the way up. You don't have to lock out, but you want to squeeze your chest all the way up. A lot of guys will only go halfway. You're not working out your entire chest. Now, the difference between triceps and chest, for chest, you're opening your elbows out. If you could find a wide grip dip machine, it would be a lot better since it's gonna take out your shoulders and your triceps a lot more. So we need to make sense with your chest. Elbows out. All the way down. What will you feel comfortable? Not all the way down, but where you feel comfortable, you can stretch. And up. All the way. A lot of guys work to here. Make sure you squeeze your chest all the way up. You pick heavy weight. And you do about five sets of five or five sets of seven. And that's going to help you a lot more. Put it in the beginning of your workout. Maybe you can warm up with some cables just to get the blood flowing, but then jump right into it and it's going to help you a lot more than the bench press will. Hope that helps guys.